hoping to create a more effective cancer treatment that avoids the side effects associated with traditional practices, a team of researchers at Kansas State University has developed a novel method of fighting tumors using magnetically induced hyperthermia. Dr. Daryl Troyer, professor in anatomy and physiology in the College of Veterinary Medicine, working with Drs. Stefan Bossman and Victor Chikan in the Department of Chemistry in the College of Arts and Sciences, have developed a cancer-fighting technique that uses modified cells to introduce magnetic nanoparticles into tumors to initiate hyperthermia with a magnetic field. The research is based on knowledge that cancer tumors are highly sensitive to elevated body temperature, or hyperthermia. Heat has long been a very attractive modality for treating tumors. Uh, the problem is that these tumors have to be accessible, and often that isn't the case. Researchers have recently focused on using magnetic fields to apply hyperthermia to cancer. A magnetic coil can generate a field that efficiently heats metal objects without heating the coil itself. This can be applied to cancer treatment by introducing magnetic particles into a tumor. You want to heat them in a way that you stimulate the immune system. It's not necessary uh, to cook them like an egg. And while they do this, they uh, basically uh, start a cascade of biochemical mechanisms which stimulate the immune system. Methods developed in Germany and Japan have relied on directly injecting magnetic substances into tumors, but there wasn't a way to accurately introduce the particles into deep, inoperable cancers. Having earlier helped discover a way to isolate stem cells found in umbilical cord fluid, Dr. Troyer felt stem or other stealth delivery cells could be used to directly introduce magnetic material into tumors. Nanotechnology and nanomedicine is really suffering uh, from lack of targeting ability. You know, there really hasn't emerged an excellent way to get these to go where you want them to go. So we thought we could exploit this ability of these stem cells to traffic to these, to these areas, to the tumors. The research group developed specialized magnetic nanoparticles, or pieces of iron 20 nanometers across, which are small enough to be absorbed by the cells. The team has also started to focus on using modified monocytes, or white blood cells, to carry the magnetic particles. Whatever type of cell is used, experiments have shown that this process has been effective in mouse models in treating melanomas and pancreatic cancers. This ability to use small amounts of material to accurately target tumors would be an improvement over older treatments that subjected cancer patients to widespread detrimental side effects. So if we can target specifically to cancer, we can alleviate all these side effects. And I've known several people that have had cancer and had these side effects. And so to see a cancer treatment that actually works without giving all these side effects is really quite exciting. The development of this method would not have been possible without the collaborative research atmosphere found at Kansas State University. If you really want to eradicate cancer, we have to combine uh, our chemical, biochemical, and uh, cell medicinal approach, which means this collaboration which we have uh, between the departments of veterinary medicine and chemistry is so important because we tackle cancer from different sides and by combining that we will be able to uh, create methods which use basically the best of everything. While more collaborative research is needed before this method can be applied to veterinary or human oncology, the research team will now focus on combining nanoparticles and their carrier cells with other chemotherapeutic drugs. I think it could be a very strong tumor treatment at some point in time. We've got really good results in the mice. We're going to continue in the mice for a while and see if we can really get extremely strong results in the mice and then hopefully turn that into a translatable end of either veterinary or the human oncology side of things.